Hello, and welcome to my laboratory. Um, this is... That, that there is the... This weird circuit, the new laser saber circuit that I couldn't get to work properly, but had some interesting effects. But I took took out the bridge after after seeing uh, uh, Scratch Robo's video that didn't have the bridge. I decided to go ahead and take out the bridge from this one, so I did. And I also hooked the uh, uh, wound up fooling around with it for a long time before I could get it to do anything. Um, consistently, but I actually wound up hooking the one of the leads, the anode side, is that the anode? Yeah, the, the anode side of the LED small wire junction over to the big wire junction and then to the collector of the 3055. Okay, this is a stack of capacitors that makes up about 11,000 microfarads, 16 or 20 volts. All of them are ripped out of television sets and wired together. And uh, this is the coil that I wound here. I started out with a TV inductor. It's got a magnet in it. And uh, uh, it had about 30 or 40 or 50 turns of heavy wire on there. And then I wound about 300 turns of a number 27 on the outside. and potted it in an epoxy and that's the secondary. And this is my little battery holder here and I've rigged the battery holder with a switch so that I can either switch in, I can turn it off like it is now or switch in one or both batteries in series and the power from the battery comes out here. Purple is positive and yellow is negative. Purple is positive. Okay and then over here I have the regular Jewel Thief Basic that I've shown with a bunch of LEDs. I think there are actually 46 LEDs all together there in series parallel, and then these two are in series. Uh, 2222 transistor, base resistor, and that one is running off of this 14 or 13 or 14 turn 1 to 1 ratio toroid over here. Okay. And then this is a clip lead that I'm going to use to connect the two circuits in a, in a, in a minute. Uh, okay, and this is a voltmeter showing the voltage uh, across the output of the battery pack, which is also going to be connected to the capacitor, reservoir capacitor here, for the la la laser saver weird circuit, or my modification of it, okay? So... Uh, so the voltmeter will be showing the, 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 the voltage on this big filter reservoir cap, so it should be pretty accurate, right? So, uh, 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 okay, so first I'm going to demonstrate the, uh, the battery supply with the switch, right? So I've got the, got the output un, unconnected now. The positive is connected, but the minus is unconnected. So I can have it off or I can switch in both batteries in series and if you can see with 2.4 volts they're pretty depleted and or just one battery uh, 1.3 volts okay that one's still pretty good so off both batteries just one battery okay alright now what I'm going to do is just hook up the uh, Jewel Thief Basic over here with the red and black clip leads to the output of, uh, of the power supply or just the, the battery pack, right? So negative, negative to negative and red to purple is positive. Okay. Okay, so now I've got the power, this uh, this guy is not in the circuit yet. I'm just clipping to the output of the little battery pack, all right? So now I turn the battery pack on. That's the one battery. And I think you can see that the Jewel 3 Basic is working on the one battery. I'm not going to make any adjustments to the base resistor right now. And then when I switch to two batteries, you can see that it lights up pretty good. In fact, I would say that's really good uh, for an input of 2.3 volts, lighting up uh, 46 or so LEDs. Okay. All right. Good.
Okay, so we turn off now. And now, uh, now I'm going to hook up the power supply to the new circuit. So that just requires going that in there like that. And then I have a, a green LED sitting up in the LED position on the, on the new circuit. All right. So now I'll turn that on to one battery. See that thing, it really makes noise. And uh, no, that was two batteries. This is one battery. And there's the voltage on the capacitor stack with one battery. And there it is with two batteries. So I think you can see that uh, this really puts a current drain on the battery. Right? But it does light up that LED really well. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it off, unplug one lead from the LED, if I can do it without breaking something. And then we'll use this as the power supply to power the Jewel Thief Basic by taking the clip leads here again and going, let's see, that's negative, and that's the anode lead there. Okay. Okay, so now I've got, I've, I've just swung the LED out of the circuit and I've got positive and negative across that coil going over to power the Jewel Thief Basic. Okay, now Okay, on one battery that sucker is as bright as it was on two batteries before. Listen to it. And on two batteries that thing really gets bright and it's really drawing down the power supply. Right. And if I start playing with the base resistance over here, I get almost no change in the brightness until uh, until I reach the saturation point of the transistor. And with one battery, pretty much the same thing. It's almost the same brightness as it was before too. It really makes a lot of noise. Still haven't found any high voltage but I'm not done experimenting yet. Uh, but here you have one uh, laser saber weird circuit powering another jewel thief uh, and uh, really putting out the current it looks like. for watching. It's doing all that on one volt though, drawing it down.